Okay, for the second part of my uh, XDK tutorial, I'm going to show you how to go in and add some extra elements, uh, some extra functionality to your app. Uh, one of the things that we can do is if you look back at the top left here, you'll see there's a little project section. Click on that and that'll take you to your project list. You can have multiples open. You can see if I wanted, I could start a new project down here. I'm going to keep going with Simple App 01 for now. The first thing I'm going to do is you'll see over here you've got your project information and then you've got your Cordova 3X hybrid mobile app settings. Um, there's lots of cool stuff in here, uh, but right now what we're going to focus on is plugins and permissions. So I'm going to just go in and look down and find. Uh, you can see here, so there's the standard Cordova plugins, and you can get more information on these um, by clicking on the little eye icon in each one. So you can see device motion uh, provides access to the accelerometer. Um, where, uh, if you want contacts, uh, file, file transfer, geolocation. Uh, so I'm going to turn on geolocation and I believe um, let's just do geolocation for now. So I'm going to turn on geolocation and then I'm going to go back into develop. I'm going to go back into my design mode and you can see I've got my send info button still there. Uh, I'm going to edit my custom script. Oops. Apparently I have multiple things selected. There we go. Select my button. Edit my custom script. Interesting. Oh yeah. Well, I'm going to flip into my user scripts. If for some reason that happens to you, uh, you can always go into the left hand side in your working files and find that index user script. It's usually kept under your uh, app www.js folder and then you can see it's index underscore user scripts uh, so I've got when you click my button send function you get the information sent uh, we have an alert right now uh, I'm gonna take that away and instead I'm going to flip over here and uh, back in the projects you can see for my geolocation here you can actually pop that open and that takes you right into um, your documentation and you can see there's a on success callback that's the defined one. So I'm going to actually grab this whole function and I'll explain it in more detail. So I'm going to pop it out here. Uh, we've got var on success function position. And that shows you all of the different things that can come up there and then we're going to go back here and you can see there's an error one as well we're going to grab that and I'm going to pop that in and where's my good so you can see here this code navigator.geolocation.getCurrentPosition, geolocation success, error, and options. I'm going to copy that in, but I'm not going to use it exactly as it is. So I actually have this on success function, which I'm going to copy in here. And then I'm going to copy in the on error function here. So now you can see we've got navigator.geolocation.getCurrentPosition, a position on success and on error. If we go back into the emulate tab, you'll see that clicking on that button generates our latitude, longitude, altitude, accuracy. So that all just comes up 
in an alert button. Uh, if we wanted to change that messaging, uh, we could just comment this out. And you'll see we can actually go in and uh, if I just wanted to see uh, what my current speed was, we could just alert that. And that comes from, you'll see that that's broken down into position, which is what's passed in this on success function. And then we've got our coordinates dot speed. So again, we go into emulate, we click on the button. And obviously my computer isn't moving anywhere, which is good, uh, because it would be really hard to record this otherwise. So anyway, yeah, that's uh, your second little introduction to XDK. Again, what we went over is how to add in uh, one of the plugins. And the cool thing about this is that all of these plugins are actually tied together with the build process so that when you have the plugin in, it will automatically assume the correct position, uh, sorry, permissions on the phone so that someone can, uh, so that when you build your app, sorry, uh, you won't have to worry about your uh, permissions in your uh, specific platform. They'll automatically be picked up and uh, then the user will see this app is requesting permission to use geolocation. Is that okay when they go to install it? All right. Thanks for watching part two.